episode 51 of the Regen ID Wedding Show. We are here today with Simon Nye and she is a personal trainer and she's going to tell us a little bit more about herself. Thank you so much for giving us the time and the opportunity to talk to you. It's so nice, we know your, your history, your her story. <laughs> Um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about how you got into the, the training and health business. I'd love to and thank you so much for providing the opportunity to actually have this conversation with all of you. So I started my journey way back in school. I used to be very active and sporty, dreaming of being just the greatest sports person that I could be. But life had its ups and downs, so I ended up not having a big career in athletics, although I really tried. So I went on to go study and did something completely opposite to an active lifestyle. Went into studying computers and graphic designing, which obviously is a desk job and inside of four walls. And I just realized that this is definitely not what I really want to do. Like I want to be active, I want to be using my body. And I was searching for a way to actually get out and do something more active, like have an active job, active lifestyle job. And I went searching through like a lot of trial and errors, not finding a job, and eventually found working abroad on a super yacht. Oh See, my goodness. So this seemed like the greatest challenge where I would be able to be physically active while also having, you know, being employed and having a job. So I applied, went overseas, and when I went there, I was kind of going through a very hard transition in life as my parents got divorced, so some emotional things were happening, and I fell into a deep, deep hole of depression. And through this depression, I, even though feeling really bad, I still had this urge to want to feel better. I wanted to be better. I didn't just want to sit there and wait with the feeling just to pass. And I started to work out. I randomly just started posting a little bit of snippets on Instagram, thinking that, you know, maybe somewhere like someone is also going through a little bit of emotional issues because I found that the more I exercised, the better I started feeling. And the more I started feeling better, the less I was depressed. And I thought maybe with the sharing that, I would be able to actually help someone else get through that too. And long story short, I ended up attracting the attention of a trainer who contacted me over Instagram because he found my videos. And asking me if I would be open into training with him and you know just him showing me the ropes. I was like, yeah, sure, cool, we could definitely do that. Like, I was working in Monaco at the time when we got together, did a few sessions. And after the third session, I kind of thought, I should probably look into this guy who is he was really good. And I've only had two personal trainers before him. Ended up he was a Victoria's Secret model trainer. <laughs> My wit. And I wet. So and you didn't even know that? I didn't even know. <laughs> and it was ridiculous. And he was also dating a Victoria's Secret model at the time. Yeah. So she would come over to sessions and kind of take photos of us training. And I was like, oh there's cyber goss because how many girls would just dream to have like model body. Mm. And here I was being trained by Victoria's Secret model trainer. The ultimate. <laughs> which was incredible. And I've learned so much from that experience. And that's where the dream got ignited again because it's always been a dream of movement like wanting to be physically active and going into like a career of a lifestyle of fitness and from there it was born and I came back to South Africa and one thing led to the next I got a big dream to be working with Nike and then eventually I, I got the attention of a Nike master trainer from London so I've been coached and mentored by Nike master trainer Jocelyn Thompson since 2019 April 2019 which has definitely advanced my passion and drive for the gift of movement that we have. And um, it's still a big dream, still a big vision, and this is all part of it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so to incorporate all of this, the reason why we're hosting you today on this show is the other day we touched on um, doing celebration shoots and getting yourself ready for your big day. And often I think um, we neglect um, the, the inner part of prepping yourself. Um, there's, there's always hair and makeup and the dress and the flowers and everything that you see that we, that we as photographers can photograph. 
But I mean, we know that, that being healthy is absolutely from the inside. So I would like you to give us and our audience suggestions of how to prep for their wedding day, even if they are in perfect shape. Yeah, I think that's such a, a valuable point, especially when it comes to your big day. You want to be feeling your best, not just looking your best, but you want yes. to be feeling your best. And as I mentioned, when I started my whole fitness journey again, I was kind of going through something dark and feeling depressed, so not being happy within myself. And the shift didn't come just from the physical workouts, mm. but because we work out, we have more serotonin and endorphins that actually go over the mind. So in essence, it starts with the mind. And the more you work out, the better you're gonna feel. It's just, it's science, it's the way it works. So I think the best thing is to just move. We have a body and we have this gift of movement that we get to open every day. And we take it for granted so many times. And it's something that can be so enjoyable. Instead of thinking of it as a punishment, mm. it's something that you get to do, not have to do. Mm. And for a new bride, I think it's, a, it's such a great way to, to connect with her partner more if she has to now get ready for her wedding day, she wants to feel good and feel strong and feel confident. And then having a partner come along for that, it definitely increases their accountability together as partners, also staying consistent, helps them overcome obstacles, which also would arise in a marriage. Totally. Yeah, so I think when it comes to like working out, like getting prepared for your marriage, start to see if you can actually work out with your partner, because that's gonna teach you a lot about how you're going to overcome obstacles, how you're gonna be able to work together as a team, and keep each other motivated throughout this journey because in the end it's a lifestyle it's not just a one-time thing a bride should feel good every single day I love that I love that uh, tell us a little bit more about you've got your own program and online presence specifically on Instagram what is it called and can it how does it work does the people just subscribe um, tell us more about that so during the whole pandemic, I think a lot of people realized that your health really is the true wealth in life. Mm. And we take it for granted, like I said, we take it for granted so much. So I got to the concept that instead of always running for aesthetics, um, I think there's a lot of terminology around people going to a gym that it's all about a certain type of look. But that's changed. The world has changed. I mean, everything has changed right now. So during this time, I got to the conclusion that we need to think more of future-proofing our bodies. Thinking of a more holistic approach. Starting from the inside, with your mind, the way you think about yourself, and then through your movement, through fitness, and also what you put inside, which is nutrition. Like, you can eat for better performance, to feel better. Some foods actually increase your happy levels. And I got to a conclusion that you got a future-proof your body and your mind. And I started the Future Proof Lifestyle. So the Future Proof Lifestyle has been up and running now for about two months. And I have this amazing team of girls that all just check in with one another, keep each other accountable, share healthy recipes, ask a lot of questions and helping one another. And you're creating this new community mm -hmm. of people that has an elevated mindset about what fitness is really about. And at the end of the day, it's a lifestyle. It's not just a one-time thing. I love it. We're definitely going to make sure that we have that buttons of you on the on the column below. Um, I'll definitely check it out. I know I've followed some of your stuff on Facebook, but I haven't seen that. I'll make a point of it. I'm already excited for it. Is there, is there a way that you can show me a couple of basic things to do? Because most of us have to train now from, from home. Is there basic training uh, or basic exercises that you can recommend and then how long in advance and I know this is a, a random question because it depends on everyone's circumstances but how long do you think a person or a couple needs to to see a difference well that's not a random question at all at the end of the day it takes 21 days to build a habit. Is that the, with why the 21 days is always So, okay. but 21 days to build a habit, three days to break it down. But if you want to see a change in your body, it's going to take you four weeks 
to see a change for yourself, okay. eight weeks for your closest friends around you, and 12 weeks for the world. So that's, that's about, I'd say 90 days. Give me 90 days. Okay. I usually tell my clients, give me 90 days, and you're going to walk out here a changed person. It's only, it's only one term. It's just three it's months. It's a season. It's, it's, it's actually so short in the bigger picture. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a small um, time investment. And obviously, every time that you try, you're going to feel better. I know, I know how it works. And I love how people think it's going to be a little time investment, but it ends up just becoming, yeah. it ends up becoming a lifestyle the, because the if you best, enjoy it. The best thing that you've ever decided to do, yeah. so. So get back, to get back to your question about um, training as well during lockdown, you definitely have so much around you. I think we forget about all the space that we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think during lockdown, a lot of us also realized that you get to appreciate space a lot more. So I can show you, because definitely during lockdown, I actually achieved most of my fitness goals, which was outside of the gym. So it's definitely possible. So I can show you. Let's so do let's it. Go. Let's do it. But it was intense. <laughs> so just a recap, uh, we didn't actually need anything uh, from the gym. 
I said, what, what, when you're at home, we use the, the bunkies and the ladder and everything, but what can you replace it with at home? So what's so nice about being able to just have space around us, I'm sure you can find a, a, like a place with some stairs. So instead of using the little bench, you can go and use some stairs. And instead of using just weights, I used to, during lockdown, just take two um, 500 liter waters, like water bottles. It doesn't have to be very heavy. And you can just take that, or you can even just take a backpack, fill it up with, with rice and potatoes and fruits and put it on your back and just keep on like walking stairs up and down. It's very simple. Train very with effective. your gulfs, not eat them. <laughs> exactly. You see, AD, you're the pro here. And you absolutely smashed this workout. I have to say, I was very impressed. And so I'm retaining it. <laughs> not at all. And with the, the ladder, which is one of my favorite workouts because it's so good for burning extra calories, keeping your legs strong, and just also focusing on ankle stability. And it's just so much fun. It's like playing. So yeah. it's not working out, it's playing. You can just draw lines in the sand, or you can just find a place where wood, so you, like wood where, where you have lines or some tiles. Yeah, it's tiles. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people have tiles at home. So just choose a block, get creative, start jumping around, jumping over a line, put on a timer, and have fun. Okay, so um, with this, um, Richard is obviously going to uh, fast forward through the exercises. How long time did we spend per exercise? My, About. Yeah, my analogy, if you want to have a really good workout, do anything 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Okay. Instead of counting repetitions of a workout, yes. try and put on a timer because you would, you would stop at 15. I said, okay, do 15 reps. You would stop at 15. If yeah. I put on a timer, you might actually get out 20. Oh, yeah, so you, you have a lot more potential okay. in time. Okay. So okay. I think 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off is a good way to go. Um, Simone, it was a quick workout. I'm sweating. High intensity. Um, I think for a, a pro like you, <laughs> it was a little warm up. Um, for the viewers to, to leave with, a word of inspiration from your side. I think the one thing that inspired me the most is the world's greatest movie. Everybody was so excited to see the world's greatest movie and it was premiered all over the world and people were really excited, bought tickets to go and see this movie. Obviously with the big hype because it's only eight minutes long. And everyone arrived at the cinema and it's this big event, everyone's super excited that they're just going to see the world's greatest movie. And they walk into the cinema and the movie starts playing. And all that they could see was a white roof. All you can see is a white roof. Two minutes pass and nothing changes and people just still see a white roof and it kind of looks like you can hear a little bit of breathing, but nothing's happening. After three minutes, people in the cinema start getting fidgety and they're like, well, there's nothing happening here. Wow, world's greatest movie. And they start walking out of the cinema. Some stayed, but the cinema is now already like 60% empty. But those that stayed, stayed at the six minute mark. The eyes started blinking and looked to the left and to the right and you could see people in the hospital. And this was the view of someone that is bedridden. And this is their view every single day. Some people didn't even last six minutes. Oh my and the movie is only eight minutes. And that is what inspires me to get up every day. When I wake up, I'm like, it's not that I have to wake up to go to work. It's that I get to wake up and go to work. And I think that's a beautiful gift of movement. And we should open that gift every single day. That's beautiful. That's stunning. It's a it's a present. That's why it's called the present. The present. It's a gift. Yeah. On that very, very high and somewhat emotional note, um, I also get emotional um, about movement and about health. Um, thank you very much. We appreciate your time and your inspiration. And we are, as we I said, I'm sure we're gonna put all, all the detail in the link below. Thank you very much for watching again. It's a different take on our program as usual, but I think it is so um, extremely important, the lesson that Sim and I gave us, um, and for, for me and Richard as well. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, make sure to subscribe, and um, when we reach that thousand subscri subscribers, um, you have a chance to win a Lechen ID shoot with 3,000 Rand. 
and you have a chance to win the nomination bracelet from Gabriel's with three links in. Thank you very much for that, Gabriel. And um, we'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>